Do you struggle to get back into a routine after vacation? Do you feel like your life gets totally out of whack when you've been gone for two weeks, one week, or even just a long weekend? Today, I'm gonna to share with you seven ways to get your life into a productive routine when you get back from your travels. Or perhaps you just feel like your life needs a little bit of change. Make sure to stay to the end for a bonus tip that you can do before you leave home that makes coming back so much more welcoming. Hey y'all and welcome. If you're new here, I'm Christy, the Gen X Gypsy, helping you to travel better so you can focus on creating unforgettable memories. If you've been in the community for a while, then you're probably aware that I just finished spending the summer in Alaska. And I use the word summer very loosely because it pretty much rained most of the time I was there and never really got over 60 degrees. But I was in Alaska in a little RV for about two and a half months. And then I traveled from Alaska to Oregon to help my daughter get prepared for spending a year in Japan, which I'm so excited for her. And now I am back in North Carolina. I thought this was a great opportunity to share with you some of the ways that I do things to reset my life when I get back from traveling, especially when I've been gone for a pretty long time. But you can also use these ideas to help reset your life if you're looking for maybe a seasonal life change or something like that. I don't know about you, but I feel like September comes around and I always feel like I want to change things up, you know? Like, you know, maybe change some of the things that I'm eating or how I'm working out or I don't know, just some various life routines. Meditate more, do a little yoga, that type of stuff. I think it has something to do with September always being the start of school, even though currently I don't have anybody in my life that's subjected to a school year. Or perhaps it's because my birthday is in September and it feels like the start of a new year for me. Regardless, fall always seems to be the time that I like to do a reset and it just so happens that I am coming back from traveling at the same time. So I can do both at once. But let's get started with the things that I do in order to get my life back on track. This first one obviously pertains to if you've been traveling, and that is to unpack your bags as soon as you can. Don't let your suitcase just sit in the middle of the floor for like three days to two weeks. And I know I've been guilty of doing that before, and I find it just keeps adding more stress to me because I, every time I look at that suitcase, I'm like, oh my God, I gotta undo that and I gotta put stuff away. So the sooner you can do that when you get home, the better you're going to feel. I do try to do it as soon as I walk in the door and maybe even get a load of laundry started right as soon as I get home. The faster you get that done and you get the suitcases put away, the better you're going to feel. The second tip or idea is to take some time to relax and recover from your vacation. I don't know about you, but I like to squeeze a lot of stuff into my vacation time. And I try to build in some relaxation time during my vacation too, and my travels. But, you know, sometimes you're just going and going. And especially when I'm trying to film videos to make a YouTube video out of, I am doing a lot of running around. So when I get home, it's nice to just take a little bit of downtime. I give myself like two or three days to relax, give myself some time to read a book, maybe watch a movie or two, and just get a little more calm. I also like to try to eliminate screens at night before I go to bed for the first, you know, three to four nights after I've been home. So I'll just read the book in bed before I go to sleep instead of watching a movie or YouTube videos or whatever I happen to be wanting to watch on either my phone or the TV. And just take my eyes off of that screen. I do think that that helps rejuvenate you a little bit faster. The other thing under this category is to try to get back on your time zone as quickly as you can if you have been three or four hours time difference like I have been over the summer I try to get back to it as fast as I can so that my body it can get used to the new time zone and then everything else isn't quite as hard <laughs> this next one I'm sure is not gonna come as any surprise to you and that is to drink 
lots of water when you get home from traveling. Traveling can be super dehydrating, which can affect your skin, it can affect your energy levels, it can affect how much you're eating, all of those things. So when I get home from traveling, I make myself what I call a red line goal, or basically a non-negotiable goal that I'm gonna drink somewhere between 80 and 100 ounces of water. Now I do include herbal non-caffeinated teas in that accumulation of water during the day and i do drink some sleepy time tea at night so i'm typically drinking about 60 to 80 ounces of water and then i'll have like another 20 ounces of tea during the day you might also want to include some electrolytes in your water when you've just gotten home from traveling to help replenish some of the minerals and stuff that your body might have lost while you were out there running around <laughs> This fourth item that I'm going to talk about, I think is one of the most important things that you can do when you get home that will help eliminate stress and anxiety. And that is to do a big brain dump. Now I've done a whole video on doing a brain dump, especially for our menopausal brains that I'll have linked below in the description if you wanna check that out. I did it a while back, so forgive the quality of it, but Basically what a brain dump is, is you're gonna sit down with some paper and a pen and you're just going to start writing out all of the things that you need to do. No particular order, no prioritization at that time, just everything you need to do. I need to renew the car, I need to go grocery shopping, I need to get the laundry done, I need to return library books, whatever it is, even work stuff. I'm personally right now the volunteer coordinator for a huge event in my hometown. So I've got a long list of all the things I need to do to get my volunteers ready for that event in a couple of weeks. Take everything and get it out of your brain and onto paper. Once you have that big list done, then you can prioritize the items that need to be done right now and the items that might be able to be left till later. But I guarantee you that once you have all of those thoughts down on paper, they're not going to keep you awake at night running through your head, and I know you know what I mean, or worse, waking you up at 2 a.m. and then you can't go to sleep for two hours. Number five, I always like saying number five, I don't know why. Number five, I don't know. It <laughs> just seems like the thing to do, right? Number five. <laughs> this is gonna be another probably no brainer and that is to get your body moving. If you get in like I did, I took a red eye from Oregon to North Carolina. So I got in at like 10 o'clock in the morning in North Carolina. I made sure that I got out and went for a walk that afternoon after I got back here. I tried to take a nap when I first got back, but I, that just didn't work. It actually ended up helping me get on the East Coast time a lot faster by going out and taking a walk instead of taking a nap and just getting my body moving. And I have consistently walked my 10,000 steps every day since I've been back. Again, another red line, non-negotiable goal that I have set for myself for this month. I encourage you to get back into whatever movement Thing that you like to do. Perhaps walking isn't your jam, but you love to do yoga. Start doing yoga as soon as you get back. Even if you can't get into a yoga class per se, go onto YouTube and do a little YouTube yoga. I like doing that. Or perhaps you do have a regular workout routine. Try to get back to doing that as quickly as you can because the longer you put off getting back into any movement routine, the harder it is to get going again. So number six might sound a little woo-woo, and that is to go get grounded. And by grounded, I mean connecting to the earth through your bare feet or your body, which doesn't need to be bare, by the way. <laughs> there are a lot of studies being done about the benefits of going out and actually connecting to the earth, especially with your skin, whether that's in the grass, 
or walking on the beach or however you want to connect. The studies have shown that connecting your body to the earth allows currents to flow through you, helping not just with stress, but with cardiovascular issues, inflammation, sleep, and so much more. If you're interested in reading more about this grounding, I will have articles linked below in the description. Because I live at the beach, I like to take a long walk on the sand as soon as I get home. And I tell you, after being in extra tufts pretty much the entire summer, I was so ready to go barefoot and enjoy some warm salt water. Even if you don't have a beach to walk on, you can go out in your backyard or go to a nearby park and just enjoy walking in the grass. Whether or not you believe that you're getting electrical currents coming up through your body when you connect to the earth or not, just going out and being in nature will help with your decompression just a little bit. Tip number seven is to get back into a skincare routine. If you're anything like me, you might find it challenging to keep up with your skincare routine when you're traveling. Plus, I just don't like to take that many products with me when I'm on the go. This summer was especially challenging because, well, I mean, honestly, I was a little depressed and my diet was terrible and my skin kept breaking out and it was really hard to keep up with a skincare routine in a tiny little RV. So one of the first things I've done coming home this time is to get myself into a very simple morning and evening skin routine. And I can already tell that my skin feels so much better. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about my skin routines that I'm using right now, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll throw together my first YouTube short and share my routine with you. Let me know if that's something that you guys would like. Anyway, I encourage you to try to get some sort of skincare routine going as soon as you get home. It will make you feel better and it's a good way to kind of relax again in the evening before you're going to bed. And now for the bonus tip. And this is something that you can do before you ever leave on your travels that will make coming home feel so amazing. And that is to clean and straighten your house before you leave. Most importantly, putting clean sheets on your bed before you leave the house. There is nothing better to me than coming home and knowing that my bedroom especially is super clean and the bed is ready for me to sleep in. Now this time when I left, because I was leaving for so long and I wasn't sure if some of my family members might want to come and stay at the trailer while I was gone, I set the house up kind of like an Airbnb. I mean, to the extent that I even emptied out closet space in case somebody wanted to come and stay for a while. So when I walked back into my house because nobody ended up staying here, I walked into my house and it felt like I was walking into an Airbnb and it felt amazing. It was so nice to come in and have all the things exactly where I like to have the things and to know that I had a clean bed to sleep in. It was awesome. So I encourage you to do something really good for your future self before you leave on that trip and clean your house and have those clean sheets on your bed. And for an extra step, clean out the refrigerator, but have a few things in there that are ready to eat when you get home. If you're curious about what I packed for an entire summer in Alaska, check out this video next. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!